It's been a while since I've um, done a video for Flayed Rhythm, but I got a, a message the other day um, from a student, and they were asking that, or saying that their professor has asked, "Can you do? Can you demonstrate the use of this big, small program, but using?" And he called them modules. Um, I think what he's referring to is um, is functions and parameters. So what I've done is I've created a version of the big, small algorithm using um, functions and parameters. So I'll explain how it goes through. So we start off here with our initialization of our variables. And just for simplicity, I've used an array for the um, to store big and small. So position zero is the largest number, position one is the smallest number. Um, I get the uh, value, I do the input, you can see the function call here, we'll look through it in a second. If that value is minus 99, the program just drops down here and exits. If it's not 90, minus 99, it puts the value you just entered in the array, because it must be both the biggest and the smallest number at that point, because it's the only valid number you've entered. It checks the exit code. If the exit code is false, which we set up here, um, then it will ask for another number, there's a function call. Take that number, call the update min max function, which updates it if it's too small, or if it's bigger or smaller, um, or minus 99, it will update the array as possible, as um, it needs to, and then it will keep going round and round uh, here until you enter minus 99, when it will drop into this um, this call here, and this calls the display output um, procedure, and it will display the answer, uh, largest and smallest value. So if I go through the individual um, functions, we can see the um, the get input one just asks you to enter a number that's not minus 99, it inputs a value and returns that value back to the program. So that return here takes you back to uh, here. That value is not minus 99. The array is just updated. It comes around and asks for another number, so you've seen that. And then it calls the X calls the update function here. So what this update function does is if the value is minus 99, it sets the exit code to true and then returns that so we will exit the program on the end of the loop. If the value is not minus 99 and it's smaller than the smallest value, updates the array. If it's larger than the largest value, it updates the array, returns the exit code. And you can see that I'm not changing the exit code um, here or here, so it's only changed when we minus 99, so it will force us to drop out of the loop. Turns back to the main program, so we are uh, here, and it keeps doing this until you enter minus 99 when it uses the last one. And this is a procedure, um, it used the display output procedure. So if I show you that one, you can see it just displays the answer and then the program exits. Okay. Now I keep mentioning procedures and functions, there is a difference. So value equals get input, this is a function because functions always return a value, so the value gets returned into here. Update min max, that's a function because it returns a value which goes into exit code. And you can see here there's no equal on this one, so this is a procedure, it just performs an action. And we can see that from the code, so get input returns a value. Update min max returns a value, but the display output doesn't return, it just does something and then stops. So let's run through this program as a demonstration. Uh, let's get open the variable window. And let's start with minus 99 so you can see that the program just uh, exits on the first run through. So minus 99. So it goes through. The value is minus 99. So it just ends. So this time we'll run it again, but we'll, we'll use some real values. So I'll do 33. Now that is now the first valid entry, so it will be um, the update function will be called as the update in the array looks. 33 is the biggest and the smallest. Get the next value. So let's say 12. Now 12 obviously is smaller than the smallest. 
So this time round, because it's our second run through, execute equals update. So the update is called into this, not minus 99, but it is smaller than the smallest. So the value gets updated. It's not bigger than the biggest. You can see there that was updated. So that one stays the same. You go to that row. So this time I'll do 66 because that will be bigger. So it returns that. Calls the update function again. It's not minus 99, it's not smaller than 12, but it is bigger than 33. So that one gets updated. There's the 66. Okay, next code is still false. So we'll do uh, minus 99 this time. So this will call the end. So the minus 99 gets returned. We'll call the update function. Minus 99 is true. So we set the exit code. It's not minus 99, so that's not done. It's not minus, sorry, it's, it is minus 99, so that's not done. It is minus 99, so that's not done. Returns the exit code. The exit code goes to true. So this is now uh, false. So it drops out, goes to display procedure, calls that, tells us the largest number was 66, smallest number was 12, and then ends. So there you go. So this is a nice method of uh, demonstrating how we can find the largest and the smallest number um, in a set of inputted values um, using um, functions and procedures um, as well as an array um, and passing parameters. And I've also tried to explain the difference between functions and arrays. Um, if you found this useful, brilliant, please like and subscribe. If you found it really useful, buy us a coffee. Um, and feel free to drop me a message if you've got any more videos you'd like me to make.